I didn't really even uh, mess around with the uh, um, street opiates. I have a I have a head injury, and so um, I didn't realize it um, that I was an addict before I was before I knew that. I just I just remember worrying that I did I have enough you know Percocet, did I have enough this and that, you know all these pharmaceuticals, you know, and uh, and then somehow I ended up getting a candy doctor when I didn't know what a candy doctor was. My daughter died, you know, the eldest, and for the, the ex-wife to just pick up the kids and move out like that after a death like that. And I, I hadn't ever stuck a needle in my body before. And uh, that was the first time I did. And I plucked out the pain. And I'm it pretty good. I, I miss my, my kids and family so much, man. It's, they, you know, at night, especially at night, you know, when, when, when uh, there's nobody around and you're laying on, on, on concrete or whatever it is you're laying on and, you know, you can't even remember the, the feeling of the bed and stuff. And you start thinking of, of just just having somebody in your life, a friendly face, you know, a, a friendly voice, somebody somebody actually cares about you. Like like right now, I, I feel like I'm absolutely alone in this world. And I feel like I, I don't have one person that, that actually would go to my funeral if I you know, OD'd and didn't get Narcan, you know? So I, I just think I'd city would pick me up and cremate me and I'd be in a little cardboard box somewhere, you know, on a shelf. I got Narcan, I believe, by the paramedics. I must have did a face plant and injured my nose, you know, really bad. And um, I, I remember waking up in the hospital and then a neck brace on me. Man, it, it was pinching me so bad right there. It was like a purple nurple, man. I kept begging them, please, you know, adjust that, please adjust that. And man, they were just, they were like treating me like they hated me, man. And uh, um, man, that hurt. I was at Denver General, and they, they treat as soon as you realize they, they, they know that you're an addict, you know, whether you admit it or not, you know, they, the whole the whole feeling of uh, being there just changes, you know. It's just, they just treat you like you're, you're covered in dog poo or something. It just kind of like feeds itself, you know, the more isolated and depressed you are and the more, you know, people that you know, friends, you know, shoot somebody at the store or at a coffee shop, you know, just looking down their nose at you so much, it just makes you want to use more, you know, to numb, numb, to numb yourself. If there was a lot more awareness of Narcan, it would very much help, you know, there would be a lot more life saved, you know. I've heard stories where, um, People were like very against like having a, um, a methadone clinic or, or something like this in their neighborhood, you know, and they think it's, it's going to draw more addicts and stuff and cause a lot more problems. But whatever problems it does bring and attract, um, I think the, um, the problems that it solved and, and the, the help that it provides way outweigh, you know, the problems, you know, the benefits outweigh the problems.